today I'm here to talk about some of my like, favorite lip products. Um, I have eight different products to show you guys. Um, mostly lipsticks, two lip glosses, and a lip pencil. And they're all kind of in the nude family. So um, I'm going to get started with my first one. And it is the MAC Lip, Pen lip Liner Lip Pencil in Subculture. That's the name. And it's just a really nudie nude pink color um, if you can see I need to sharpen it and it is I tried to film this before and for somehow it cut my head off so um, it is this one right here and it is my favorite lip liner and I use it with pretty much every product lip product that I own um, but this is my favorite lip pencil I have a few other ones but this is my real go-to um, lip liner I'm going to talk about the lip glosses that I like first. Um, this one is by Makeup Forever. And I don't know what they're technically called. This one was like a little sample that I received in a gift. It was like a little Makeup Forever gift set that my friend had gotten from Sephora. And she didn't really like some of the products. So she gave me the, them. And um, this was one of them. And I really love this lip gloss. And it's kind of like a peachy nude um, color. And it is the shade 52, I think. It's either 52 or S2. I really can't tell. It's very, very tiny print, but I know a lot of times, um, I know, well, not a lot of times, but Makeup Forever's products are numbers. Um, and that's what the brush looks like in the color. And it is probably wiped off by now, but I will pan it on again. It, you can't see anything. It's just a clear color. So, <clears throat> That is the lip gloss from Makeup Forever. The other one I like is Underage, and it is by MAC. It is the lip gloss, and it's this, you know, really nude color right here. And it doesn't quite look like that on the lips. When I first put it on, it kind of does. It really is one of those ones that has to warm up to your lips, and then it kind of, like, changes color, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, but I do love it, and pairing it with my subculture lip liner um makes it really nice because i'll take this and i'll kind of fill in my um my lips a little bit more on the peaks and then down here a little bit and it kind of just gives it a really good color i have five lipsticks to talk about um i'm gonna talk about the, my favorite one first and it is by bare essentials and it is the buxom big and healthy lipstick and my shade that i love and the only one i have but i want more is sydney and i'm wearing it right now and it's supposed to be one of those like lip plumping um ones and it is this one right here and it does feel tingly on my lips i'm not gonna lie i do like that i don't feel like they're plumper or bigger in any way <clears throat> but i like it because it's matte and it just kind of it does last like it doesn't come off real real easily so love 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 i definitely um want to get more shades of this color like not of this color i definitely want to get more shades um of this product um because i'm really digging the shade sydney and then I have a Revlon Lip Butter. These are fairly new. Um, this one is in the shade Creme Brulee. I think it's 95. Yes, 95. And it is kind of, I tried to swatch it and you really can't, you can't see it. It's just, it's very glossy and moisturizing. And that is the shade right there. And I love, 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 love this. So. I want to try more of the lip butters. I got mine at Target, and I know you can get them at drugstores and Walmarts, Targets. Um, I think it was close to like six fifty, maybe, maybe not quite. Um, and then I have three Mac lipsticks, and they are three of my favorites. I have other ones, but these are my my um, top three, and they are all three in different finishes. The first one is Creme de Nude. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Creme de Nude. It's nude. Um, it is, let me refresh it a little bit. It's going to be this one right here. And again, I pair this one like I pair my um, underage with the subculture lip liner. And then I have Politely Pink, which is not a nude, <laughs> and, but it's a very light pink color. And it is um, this one right here in the middle. Oops, this one right here. And then I have 
blankety, which is a dark nude, and it's a matte. And I'm not going to want to touch it because it didn't come off. And it's this one right here. Whoops, this one. That one. Um, and between this one and my Buxom, these are my go-to, like, favorite colors to wear. Um, love them both. Now, the three MAC lipsticks are all in different finishes. Crimson Nude is a cream sheen. And Politely Pink is a luster. And it has a hint of a shimmer to it. And then Blankety is an Amplified. I only have, this one is the only one I own that's an Amplified. I own mostly cream sheens and lusters. I'm not a fan of the satin finish or frosted finish of the lip products, but the um, lip butter reminds me a lot of texture-wise of the um, cream sheen. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it a cream sheen? Yeah, cream sheen finish um, lipsticks like my uh, Crimson Nude. Very moisturizing feeling and, and soft and nice and not harsh and dry. Um, love all these products. These are, um, I have quite a few lipsticks and not all of them are nude. Um, I do have quite a few uh, darker colors that I don't always feel quite so comfortable wearing, but I feel like you can never go wrong with a nude lip. Nude lips can go with anything. Um, anything. I'm, today I'm wearing brown colors um, with my Buxom. Um, I wore earlier my uh, Creme Brulee. But they are my favorite colors, my favorite ones. These are the ones that I keep most of the time, like in my bag, in my handbag, um, in my little makeup bag. Like I had to go, when I was pulling all my colors together and I was like searching my lip products for the favorites, I had to pull four of them out of my purse. I'm sorry, I had to pull five of them out of my purse. I had my Makeup Ever um, lip gloss, my Buxom, my lip butter, my politely pink and my cream de nude in my purse. Um, so these are the ones that I kind of keep on hand. Sometimes I swap out the um, cream de nude with my blankety or another um, another Mac lipstick. But the rest of them pretty much live in the in the makeup bag. And then I also um, I have lots of lip glosses, and not all of them are used. This is the only like besides the makeup forever one. This is pretty much the only nude colored lip gloss that I own. I have a lot of, um, and I don't like sparkle in my lip gloss. I do have two that have sparkle. Um, I like a more matted, opaque finish to my um, to my lips. So these are my favorites. I, if you have any favorites that I didn't mention, any favorite nude colors especially, let me know. I'm always looking on the hunt and look out for a nude lipstick that is new to me. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.